fidelity to the truth and doctrinal development. In a recent interview, Pope Francis invoked Saint Vincent de Lorraine in relation to the concept of doctrinal development. Saint Vincent of Lorraine was a French monk who lived in the early 400s. He wrote a very famous book, The Commonitory, means warnings, the series of warnings. He set before himself the task of determining how to distinguish the true Catholic faith from the heresies. And he wrote, with great zeal and full attention, I often inquire from many men outstanding in sanctity and doctrinal knowledge, how in a concise and so to speak general and ordinary way, I may be able to discern the truth of the Catholic faith from the falsity of heretical corruption. And here is the answer. From all of them, most of them, I always receive the answer that if I or someone else wanted to expose the frauds of the heretics and escape their snares and remain sound and the integrity of faith, I had, with the help of our Lord, to strengthen that faith in a twofold manner. First, by the authority of the divine law. Second, by the tradition of the Catholic Church. So you see, St. Vincent appealed both to sacred scripture and to tradition. He states, in the Catholic Church itself, every care should be taken to hold fast to what had been believed everywhere, always and by all. In Latin, quod ubique, everywhere, quod semper, what has always been believed, quod ab omnibus, what had been believed by all. And he continues, teach precisely what you have learned, but saying then these things in a new manner. At this point, the question may be asked, if it is right, then no doctrinal progress would be possible within the Catholic Church, the Church of Christ. And he answered, to be sure, there has to be progress, even great progress. This thing of teaching ancient things in the new manner refers to what is today called doctrinal development. And St. Vincent continues, it must be progress in the proper sense of the word, and not a change in faith. Progress means that each thing grows within itself, whereas change implies that one thing is transformed into another. And then St. Vincent offers an analogy. He says, the growth of religion in the soul should be like the growth of a person, which in the course of years develops and unfolds, yet remain the same person he was. A human being does not change. When he grows, he does not become an elephant. St. Vincent continues, it is a genuine development only if it preserves which what was authoritatively handed down from the beginning, at least implicitly. Similar to the way men may grow beards, even though babies don't have them, but still the same person. 
there should be then a balance between the necessity of doctrinal continuity with the past and the need for change of expression with time, variability of expression with time, in order to bring out ancient truths more clearly in the present and give an answer to new challenges. You see, St. Vincent believed both in continuity and development. Sweet the sound that saves.